How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, if you have been following along with my series of Let's Animate, to Let's Animate Together and Let's Get Better Together, then, well, first of all, thank you. And if this is one of my very first ever videos that you have come across, well, like I said before, it's a pleasure to meet you. And here, we're going to be talking about walking. Making our, our little mini, our little minifigures walk. So, let's get to it. Now, here we have the minifigure. I don't know if some of you may, you know, recognize him. Uh, cough, cough, my very first uh, brick, story-driven brick film. Cough, cough. But, um, so what you want to do, you want to take... This is what's, what they call sticky tack. The same stuff that I showed in the video. I know, I'm very aware. I got way too much. You want to take it and you want to plop it. Oop. You, you want to take it and you want to plop it right at the bottom of his feet. I know it might be a little overkill, but for the purpose of this segment right here, I just want to show this is where you want to place it. Now, obviously, with a lot less given when I put them onto the stud board right here there's gonna be a lot less there obviously but yep that's that's where you want the sticky tack you know some for me I know is it works best if you know you maybe take like two little globs of sticky tack and kind of just shove them inside their feet because th their feet are hollow on the inside and uh, yeah so now let's get to the animation part now before I get into showcasing to you guys, you know, the, the, the walk cycle, you know, with, with Carnage here, one thing I want to show you guys real quick, and what's really nice about having, you know, Sticky Tech on the bottom of, of his feet, is when you have that there, what you can actually do, say like, you want your minifigure to turn, but you don't want that weird like thing where like you, you take their foot and you kind of lift it up and you, you know you kind of make them turn and it kind of looks a little different the beautiful thing about the sticky tack on on the bottom of the feet is that you can actually make them turn and there's not gonna be much of an issue you can make them turn you can make them lean and stuff and the sticky tack on the bottom of his feet, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. After a few takes of doing this, it's starting to get kind of, you know, smushed in there. Because, you know, I try to do everything right around here. You know, when I'm doing this for the most part. And so, yeah, that, that, that's kind of nice and it comes in clutch pretty easily. So if you're kind of doing something and you want to do something that's complex, but maybe that's not so complex, that's... I mean, this right here is pretty helpful. Now, what I like to do when it comes to starting out with animating a minifigure starting to walk is I like to take a picture or two. So, one and, you know, two. And what, that, what, what this here kind of does is it kind of just kind of helps you set up and kind of helps you see like where you're starting and whatnot and just in case there's something were to happen while well, you kind of have a backup frame to work with. Now the first picture that you're going to do or first thing that you know the first set of things that you're going to move before you take your next picture is you're going to move whatever desired leg that you want to move and whatever you know whatever leg you move you, you move the opposite leg so for this so let's say for instance I'm moving the right leg all right we're, we're moving the right leg if I'm moving the right leg I'm going to move the left arm forward and I just noticed it's not showcasing me moving it hold on a second okay there we go so let, let me show that again because I'm glad I caught it this time live during recording because my first recording when I did this, I thought I did a pretty good job, but you didn't see me do this. Do that in particular action. So let me do it again. So you take, 
So for instance, if you're choosing the right leg, choose the right leg, move forward, all right? And then what you're gonna do is take the left arm and move that forward and take the right arm and move it back. I hope I said that right, but it, it's it's being shown done the right way. That's all that matters. So now what we do, as you could guess, take a picture. Okay, next comes in the somewhat tricky part of the walk cycle. And like I showed you guys with putting sticky tack on the bottom of the minifigures, this is where it comes in clutch. You kind of move them just a little bit forward. And now he's doing what I like to call the toe and heel balance. He's balancing between on his one toe and on, and on his and on his right heel. So it's, he's kind of like in mid walk cycle. Okay. So let's take a picture of that. And then after that, what we do is we take that leading leg and we plop it down we straighten him up we kind of move the legs just a little bit just so doesn't really matter that much don't forget when, when someone's watching this watching a what the, the walk cycle of your minifigure moving there, there's an illusion happening it's kind of like i don't know their, their 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 brain is telling their eyes that their arms are moving in perfect synchronization okay and then we take another picture. And then after that, we then take his other leg, move it forward, stretch it out. Then we take the final picture right there, and that's one whole step. So if you were to give or take away from the, the starting pictures, uh, of the of what I just did there, the whole one step of a walk cycle is actually five frames. Now, let's say you know you want to keep him moving, but you, you kind of don't want to move the the wrong leg because it looks like he's just going to be skipping and it's just going to be weird. So what I like to do is I like to go back and see what leg was back and 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 what and seeing that leg being the leg that would plant down. So, for in this instance, it was the left leg. So, what I do is I take the, the, the left leg, move it, just move it forward, come on, there we go. And take the right arm, move it forward just a bit, take the, take the left arm, move it back just a bit, and take another picture and then as usual get them to balance just a bit like I said that sticky tech it's coming to clutch because at this point you would have fallen over and if any of you guys decided to watch my my Darth Vader versus Carnage little video in that very first scene where they're walking it was really annoying oh my gosh half the time those stormtroopers were, were falling over like geez Louise and as per usual, you know, make them step forward, straighten them out a bit, move, move the arms back just a bit. The back side is pretty much straight, but in a way, like I said, there's an illusion happening. Take a picture. And with that, put them down, straighten everything out. Take another picture. Now, with all that, let's uh, let's go back. Okay, through the whole series, we're doing things in twelve frames here. Be done. Well, it's chosen, not done. Click done or tap done, depending on how you're doing this. And let's give it a watch. See. I know it's in 12 frames, I know it's really quick, I know, I know there's only 10 frames here, but you can kind of see how good it was with the sticky tack on the bottom of his feet and stuff. 
So yeah, so there you have your whole log cycle. Now, after when you're done animating, there is something that's quite obvious wrong here. Carnage has no, not 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 Spider-Man's webbing on the bottom of his feet, but he's got sticky tack stuck on the bottom of his feet. And obviously, if you're someone like me that cares about your minifigures, you're not going to want this here, and you're going to have to clean that out. So, what I like to do is take, you know, this lightsaber here, lightsaber, you know, part that's like the lightsaber sword, and just try to pull it out as much as you can without... You know, try to push everything out. I know it kind of sucks, but like if you can, maybe more globs are better. It'll help with with it sticking, and you can actually pull it out. As you can tell, I kind of grabbed like a minor, bigger glob, and as you can see, it's starting to come out here. Hope I'm keeping this all in frame. I don't care because obviously I'm not going to re repack his feet with sticky tags just to. Show you guys. I think you guys kind of get the idea, but I'm just gonna st stick that right there for now. But you kind of push it out a bit. Oh boy. I don't know if I even cracked. So maybe what he would would even help is that you you take this and you shove it in there, just like that. See. Yeah, so, as you can tell, it's, it's exactly not fun when this happens. I'm shoving that up. I'm just trying to get the, you know, get this stuff out of here because, trust me, I believe it. I, I understand if you care about your minifigures that you have and you don't want this stuff stuck in their feet. So... Just find, you know, do the best you can to, to get it out there. If you don't care and you don't, you know, you don't care about the minifigure, then 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 this part of the video ain't for you. <laughs> like I know there's one uh, brick filmer here on here, and he, I think his name is Net Bricks, and he cuts and pulls apart his minifigures. Like he did a video of a stop motion video of like of the boys, and um. And uh, he he actually was taking like some kind of like hunter's knife and and cutting it cutting his minifigures apart and that's not well to me I'm like well you know it is it, you know it's his decision he you know he he you know he must not really care enough for the minifigures but for me I kind of care about them because you know I know they're nice and they got some kind of like collectible value and you can use them for different things if you wanted to like a different story. Or whatnot, if I can ever think of one. But yeah, that's how you kind of get this the sticky tough, the, uh, not not sticky tough, st sticky tack out of their feet. I know there's a little bit more left, but you kind of you guys kind of have the idea here. Now, real quickly, I know I have that very little bit left right there. Sometimes using this, um, I don't want to uh, this uh, sharp object here. Sometimes it's worth just to get your get a little sharp point And it helps to kind of just pull everything out. It gets in that weird corner right there See as it's coming out like that see Try not to hurt myself, okay, but then you can probably take Sticky tack and kind of pat it down some more to kind of like pull it out it's pretty much clean at that point but now you guys see him nice and clean so there you have it i don't mean to add on more to this point but you get the idea so that's going to do it here for me showcasing the walk cycle with lego minifigures in stop motion now with what i just showed here and what i just taught here it Yet again, like, like I said before, if there's any kind of flair or any kind of modification to help maybe showcase, maybe there's a 
certain kind of motion that you want to animate into a walk cycle or yet again if there's some kind of like you the viewer kind of like a taste that you want to put into this then then that's okay i mean that's your way of how you animate your minifigures and 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 how you showcase whatever you want to showcase them doing and you know in the comments down below let me know like do you like to showcase your your minifigures walking sad do you like to show them walking happy do you like to showcase them walking you know frustrated them opening up their arms as they're walking yeah again the, the, the sky's the limit with everything that i'm i'm gonna be doing in this series the, the sky's the limit there's no you know this way or that way you know there's no limitations to creativity and i want you guys to understand that i'm just showcasing you guys the simple stuff because I know there's always a starting grounds and sometimes you got to start with the most basic fundamental things. Yes, I know I did the fundamentals of animation with, with the nifty curves, but that that's like overall with many things and that goes across not just stop, not just drawing, but as you can tell, I, I, I made the principal work with stop motion and that kind of thing. So don't you know, just because of my video here and how I'm showcasing it, don't don't limit yourself. Yet again, in the comments, let me know. You know let me know. What, what do you like to do? What, what's your kind of style? You know, we all here, I know we all animate the same basic thing, the, the same four brick high minifigures, but there there's a little bit of, of you, the viewer, in that animation regardless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this here. If you like to move on, the, we want to, to the next video in the series. But yet, you're. But yet, I understand if you're done for the day watching, you know, videos and whatnot. Then I understand that too. If you can, please like, comment, subscribe, and do that all good, crazy, awesome stuff. It does help me out. It does, as I like to kind of make the tiny little joke that I know there's YouTube. Bob's kind of watching at this point in the video, so they're making sure I say that kind of thing. They're kind of keeping me accountable, so help me out here, will ya? Sheesh. But other than that, I'm out of here. So, see ya!